What's going on guys? My name is Brian. Today I got a paint video coming at you today. I'm gonna take this Spider-Man Funko Pop and paint him to the classic Venom black and white look. So I'm just gonna grab my paint and we can get started. All right guys. So we got this Venomized Spider-Man. I picked this up from K-Dog and Fish. If you guys live in Canada, probably the best Funko shop in Canada. So when I saw this pop, I liked the idea, but I never really liked the new white Venom suit. So we're gonna repaint him to the old classic. Give him a good once over. The black suit just looks so much better on the red anyway. So I figured let's take him out of the box, customize him a little bit. So I chose to sand them down. These Funkos are usually pretty, pretty smooth. I mean, you probably could just use a paint primer on this guy and does the exact same thing, but I wanted the paint to get in, you know, actually connect to this figure. Just giving it a once over with the sandpaper. I was originally just going to sand down the white parts, but then I realized there's no way I'm not going to get paint on the red. So. Once I finished the white, started the black, I realized I had to repaint the red, so I pretty much sanded everything on this figure. Not too coarse, just, you know, light enough that it makes some kind of indent. I don't want to scratch up the figure. That way it shows through the paint. So once I get this all done, we're going to put our first coat of black on it. So to paint this guy up, I'm using Citadel paints. Basically your go-to for miniatures and all things kind of toy related. Now you don't want to go in with a fresh black. You kind of want to dilute it with some water. That way it doesn't clump all over the figure. You want to layer it up. By the end of this, I'm probably used about six layers of black just to get it nice and smooth. But yeah, just take your time getting all the cracks. Give it that first layer. You can see I'm pretty cautious on this first layer. Then I realize that there's no way I'm going to be that neat. So I eventually just get it all on the red anyway. You can fix that up later. I'm going to show you guys about halfway through what kind of what paints I'm using. I'm going to give you a breakdown of all the colors, what red I'm using. The blue I didn't do too much. Didn't have to really cover up the blue too much because I wasn't really painting anywhere near it. But I did give it a touch up, so I'll show you that as well. But yeah, once you cover the whole figure, let it dry, give it a couple more coats. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't take the head off to paint this. To be honest, the bobbleheads, they're just way too difficult to put back on. So just holding it in place is way too easy not to do. If it was a regular pop, I could probably just pop the head off, dipping it in hot water. And then putting it back together later, but I didn't want to bother with the, the bobblehead part in the spring. Once it comes loose and there's no way of shrinking it back down so I left it on didn't really hinder me too much except for the top of the shoulders but we got it together so yeah once we got the entire thing covered in black we'll get to the next step if you guys haven't already check out my new stop motion spider-man vs doc ock I think it's my best one yet you can check it out leave a like comment and I want to thank you guys again for all the support on the Ninja Turtle Stop Motions. Episode 5 is in the works. I'm going to keep them coming. Alright guys, so at this point, this is what it looks like. Completely covered in black. Pretty big mess right now, but we're going to easily clean that up. Once we got the black all covered, this is probably about 5 coats right now. Four coats were diluted with water, then I had one just plain black, and another one with diluted with water on top of that. I'm gonna have to do another one after I do the red just to clean everything up. But yeah, I'm using Citadel paints, Mephisto red. And I got uh, Abaddon black Citadel base. Those are the two colors I'm using for the top. 
Now that red's not the exact same color as the Funko already is. It's more of a richer, deeper red, so I preferred that over the color they had. These are the two Citadel whites I'm using for the eyes. And there's the Thalo blue artist law for the legs, just in case I gotta use it. So yeah, at this point, it's all the little details, so I'm not gonna get all of it on film. I'm just gonna show you each step by step what the outcome is after I do it. Right here, we got the red all finished on top, cleaning up the edges of the black. Looking pretty clean. Yeah, I had to get this guy up and personal. There's no way I could paint that close so far away with the camera in front of me. I don't have the right setup yet, but here's what it is after I painted the red on it. Nice rich red, nice clean lines. A couple coats of that diluted with water. Here it is with the white base coat over the eyes in the spider. It's probably about four coats by the end of it. I got that uh, white square on the hand there for the web shooter. Not gonna lie, the, the spider was pretty difficult to paint. Don't really have the tiniest of paint brushes, but we got it done. This is the rough version. Got a couple coats left before we gotta finish it off. All right, so here it is all complete. I chose to paint the stand black. I had so much paint on it from knocking the paintbrush off it that I decided just to paint it black. So yeah, it came out pretty good for my first Funko Custom. The eyes came out good. The spider came out clean. The black came out nice. So yeah, for my first one, I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Now to finish this guy off, you wanna use a, a sealer, spray can sealer. You wanna make sure it's a matte clear, unless you really like the shiny look, but I don't really like the shiny look, so make sure it's matte. So thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all my other stop motion videos on my channel and all the future content coming your way. Peace.